In this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at goal objects and how we can use them to make a particle swarm along a surface. We'll also be taking a look at particle instancing and looking at how we can take a piece of geometry with animation and get that to stick to that particle to give the effect of objects crawling along that surface. In our scene we have a lofted piece of NURBS geometry to represent our termite hill as well as a piece of geometry for our scarab beetle. This has also got some animation on it which we're going to be using to have this crawl along the surface. Now obviously I don't want my particles connected to each vertex. Ideally I want these sporadically spread out across the surface. In order to do this I'm going to go into the Attribute Editor and select my particles, go to the Particle Shape node and I'm going to go down to the Per Particle Array Attributes. Now by default your particles will be attracted to each point of your surface be that CVs or vertices of a polygonal object. Now in order to get these to spread evenly or unevenly over the surface um, I'm instead going to connect these to the UVs of the surface. Now this does require that the surface does have UVs. Fortunately this being NURBS this means that the surface already does have a UV map. Now in order to be able to get the particles to be attracted to the UVs I need to add two more attributes. I'm going to go down into the particular attributes, go down to add dynamic attributes and click on general. This is going to bring up my add attribute window. I'm going to go to particle and I'm going to look about halfway down for goal U goal V. So now the goal object will be the UV of the surface. So goal U goal V I'm going to hit OK, as you can see here. OK, now if I rewind and hit play, you'll see somewhere around here, um, there we go, you'll see that now I only have what looks like one single particle. I'm going to make the particle a little bit bigger so you can see it a little bit easier. So if we just up the size of the point, there we go, that's what it looks like right now. Now the reason for this is that now it's attracted to the UVs, I only have, I don't have anything actually, I have no information in my goal V, no information in the goal U. So it basically just inserts a value of zero. And this point here represents zero, zero in the UV of this surface. So if I rewind, hit play, you can see all of my particles are getting stacked up in the one place. Okay, so what I'd like to do is spread these out around the outside of my surface first of all. I'm going to need to spread these out around the outside of the surface um, and then have them move along the inside of the surface. So I'm first of all going to need to find out which is the U and which is the V of my surface. I'm going to select the surface. If I go into my NURBS display, my shape node, and you can see it has six spans in the U, eight spans in the V. So I can see that this direction here has eight spans, this direction here has six. So I know that my V is the one with eight. So this is the V direction. So I'm going to go back to the particles now and go back to the shape node and I'm going to right mouse click over the goal V attribute. Now I'm going to create a creation expression. This is going to set up the particles at the point of creation. So I'm going to click on creation expression, bring up the expression editor. Bring up the expression editor and I'm just going to select through and drag this down. Now I'm going to make this slightly bigger. Uh, this is going to be a very simple expression. I'm going to say particle shape one dot goal v equals a random number between zero and one. Remember my UV ideally should be running between zero and one. I'm just going to put a semicolon on the end and hit create. So effectively this creates a random number between 0 and 1 and then sets that value as the goal V. 
I'm going to close this window now and let's see the result. I'm going to rewind and hit play. Now you'll see it's had some effect. You'll see that now one segment of my surface is getting a whole lot of particles connected along that edge. Um, but unfortunately only one part. Now the reason for this is because of how the NURB surface has been built. If we select the NURB surface you can actually see the minimum and maximum ranges in the U and V are set to 0 to 6 and 0 to 8. So this has been built what's known as 0 to number of spans. So each span represents 0 to 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 3 and so on in the U and V. Now, in order to get this to work, I could either edit the expression, I could say 0 to 8, or an easier way to do this would be to actually rebuild the surface 0 to 1 span. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to select my surface, I'm going to go into my surfaces menu, I'm going to go to edit NURBS, and I'm going to click on the box next to rebuild surfaces. OK, now once I've done that, I'm going to ensure that my rebuild type is uniform. My parameter range is set to 0 to 1, so it rebuilds 0 to 1. And we need to make sure that keep is set to num spans. This will maintain the number of spans that it currently has. It will not affect the geometry in any way, but it will rebuild the parameterization of the surface. So when I hit rebuild, we don't see any difference to the actual surface itself, but if we look at the minimum and maximum ranges, you can see they're now built 0 to 1. If I rewind now and hit play, we should get particles being sporadically created anywhere around the outside of that surface. I'm going to start by creating my particle system that I will eventually have swarm along my surface. Now, I don't need any particular type of emitter to emit my particles in. Um, I'm going to go with a standard Omni emitter, so I'm going to create that. I'm going to move the emitter just below the bottom of the termite here. I want these to start at the bottom and then eventually they're going to be moving up and over. Okay, so if I play this back, just rewind, play forwards, you can see we're just standard emitting into the scene. Now. What I'm next going to do is get these particles to stick to this surface. And to do this, I'm going to be using a goal object. Now, a goal object is basically a way that we can get particles to be attracted to either a surface or a transformation node. Now, creating a goal is very, very simple. All I need to do is select, first of all, the particles that I want attracted, and then shift select the surface that I want them attracted to. They can be NURBS or polygon surfaces. And if I now go to Particles and click on the box next to Goal. OK, now my goal weight uh, by default will be actually be set to 0 0.5. That means that your particles will be half attracted to the surface, but also half affected by other forces such as their initial velocity and things like gravity, any other fields that you have in the scene. Now, I want these to rigidly stick to the surface, so I'm going to up the goal weight to 1. That means that they're not going to be affected by any external forces and will just purely stick to that surface. I'm going to hit Create. OK, now, if I rewind and hit Play, you should be able to see, if we look in wireframe, you can see that the particles instantaneously appear on each control vertex of that surface. Now we've successfully spread our particles around the v-axis of the surface, I next want to get our particles to travel along the u-axis. I can do this by first of all selecting the particles, going to their particle shape node, and earlier on we created a creation expression which set up the particles around the v-axis. This was set up at the point of birth. Now this time I'm going to create 
a runtime expression on the goal U. So I'm going to right mouse click over and go down to runtime expression before dynamics. I want my expression to run every frame before the dynamic simulation actually kicks in. So if I have gravity or anything like that, that will be calculated afterwards. So I'm going to go to runtime expression before dynamics.